I'm here today in the Crossman Gallery with Gallery Director Mike Flanagan uh, to talk a little bit about the current exhibit here on the gallery. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about it? Yes, I can. Thanks for inviting me to be on the program today. Uh, the current exhibit is called Question, Identity, Fences, Wrong Answer, and it has been organized in conjunction with the performance of the Laramie Project at the Young Auditorium. So I worked with um, Ken Koberger, uh, some other members of the campus LGBT community to kind of come up with a concept for the show and um, even select some of the artists that were in the exhibit. Uh, Ken had some specific ideas about what he thought the makeup of the show might be and then I had some ideas about some people that I wanted to include as well and it came together very nicely. We opened last night, had a good reception, uh, some of the artists were here for the show and then we got a chance to go see the performance in the Young Auditorium. The exhibit is opened yesterday, how long is it open? Correct. It opened yesterday and it will be open till November 13th. Uh, we have our standard gallery hours. Uh, visitors can check the website to see the hours, but we're open daily, four evenings a week, and then on Saturdays from one to four. So if people come to the exhibit, what should they be expecting to see? You know, when I um, was organizing the show, I did something that I like to do when, I, when I'm able to, and I included everything from a student work. So we have Tabitha Dankert, who's a current student on campus, and I had seen a piece that she had done that I remembered, and I, I really thought it would fit into the show well. But it also has a faculty member, Max White. There are two alums, and then um, some artists from our region, but there's also nationally recognized artists as well. Um, I'm particularly pleased that uh, Paul Prindle, who's at Edgewood College in um, Madison, he's actually the gallery director there, a colleague, um, and I met at the Eden Fred Conference Center in Madison last year, and I had an opportunity to see some of his work, and I didn't understand what the photographs were about right away, and then he and I started talking, and they are photographs of sites where gay individuals have been murdered, and one of the photographs includes the fence in Laramie, Wyoming, where Matthew Shepard was found. Um, the other artist that I'm really pleased to have in the show is Jeffrey Morin, and Jeffrey is the dean of the College of Arts and Communication at Stevens Point, and he made a portrait of Matthew Shepard specifically for this show. This is the first place where it's been seen, and I was really happy to be able to include that as well. You suggested in talking about the connections between the Laramie Project and this exhibit. Could you talk a little more generally about connections between what you do in the gallery and other things going on on campus with this exhibit and with other exhibits that you do? Well, uh, again, I try to do things that are timely. And in this case, this was something that was planned a long time ago, and it is very timely. Uh, just in the context of some things that have gone on nationally and also on our campus. The previous exhibit was um, uh, a show of, of photography that uh, looked at contemporary Hanoi and our own business school has, uh, the GBRC has a um, interest in doing some programs with Hanoi. They took a travel study trip to Hanoi, Vietnam, and again, it was just kind of a timely thing that it all came together. We, we sponsored a business conference based on you know, our experiences with an art exhibit, so that, that worked out very well. Um, I think that for our students particularly, uh, and we have World of the Arts students uh, coming through here regularly, our own art students coming through here regularly, it's just a chance uh, particularly to see one of their own, a student who is included in this national group show, uh, to sort of put some context on that, and also to see Max White, who is on, on our faculty, uh, and see some of the things that she's doing as well. So we're just trying to tie into local, regional, national events and some of the programs that are happening on campus. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thanks for asking me to be on the program.